Pregnancy Risk Assessment Monitoring System Survey. So pregnancy risk, basically. Um, what are the things that moms are experiencing? What experiences are, is she having before pregnancy, during pregnancy, and after pregnancy? So where sleep comes in is we're able to ask mothers, what are your typical sleep environment practices? Are you typically laying your infant to back, back to sleep? free from soft objects. What is the usual sleep location? So we know whether that infant is being placed to sleep in an adult bed versus a crib. Um, so just assessing mothers of current living infants, what are their usual practices? And then what that tells us is the areas for education. If we're seeing that none of our mothers really know that they're supposed to be room sharing, then that's an area where we can do a campaign similar to the back to sleep campaign and say, this is why it's so important. Or if soft objects such as cute, fuzzy stuffed animals or baby blankets are going in the crib consistently, then that's an area where we can implement maybe some infographics. And then additionally, we can ask them what they were talked to about about their healthcare provider. So, or with their healthcare provider. So when they're going to their postpartum visit, after they had that infant six to eight weeks postpartum, we ask them, what did your healthcare provider talk to you about? Did he or she talk to you about placing the infant to sleep on his or her back? These four areas are questions we ask, but it just provides another area of information for us to know, hey, maybe we need to get more information out to our healthcare providers because this is a piece of information that really is not resonating with moms and or they're not remembering it. So let's provide additional information. The importance surrounding safe sleep and the sleep environment, that's the main concern we see in South Dakota with um, our infant deaths occurring to infants after they went home with the mom and dad. And if we can do something to prevent those infant deaths, given the data or given what we're seeing, that's what our goal is. That's the goal of the, of the Department of Health. That's the goal of our department is not just to look at the data and see what's happening, but to prevent that from any other family experiencing that event.